I got some holiday congestion every year. There's boxes everywhere. Everyone's got boxes. After uh, It's the day after Christmas, so you got to spend today figuring out what you're going to do with all those boxes. Sometimes it's extreme. You got to get someone to come help you. Steve Weiner here from GetRubix.com. Hope everyone had a very happy holiday. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to onboard your Windows devices managed with Intune into Defender for Endpoint. And show you just how easy that can be to get that going. You got to do something, especially, you know, the more boxes you have, you're going to end up with a problem unless you take care of it right now. Okay, so I want to show everyone how to get the your Windows PCs onboarded to Defender for Endpoint. So let's go ahead and head over to Intune here. Um, I had to get an alternative lab because in Steve Capacity and Rubik's Dev, Defender for Endpoint's already on. So, you know, to get started, a little overview, you go to Endpoint Security. Um, under manage is where you're going to set all the actual policies for attack surface reduction rules and the EDR stuff. Um, and we'll go through some of that. You need some onboarding done. But uh, if you go down to set up Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, click there. Uh, this is the primary integration page here, right? So they give you a lot of information on getting started. They got some links embedded right here, how to connect them. Um, you can see right now it's unavailable because we haven't turned it on. And if you scroll down, you'll see a whole bunch of, uh, you know, other options. Okay, so how do we get started? Um, you know, we can't just turn this on. What we have to do is we actually have to enable the configuration in the Defender Security Center. So you can just click on this link down here, open the Microsoft Defender for Security Center. We could do that, or we could just go to security.microsoft.com. That'll take us to the main portal. Keep in mind, you do have to have the appropriate licensing for this. We are going to build this around the assumption this is the Defender for Endpoint Plan 2, which is the full feature Defender for Endpoint. Okay, so we really don't have much here um, aside from whatever came with the demo tenant. Uh, so we are going to head down all the way to settings. Okay, so I forgot when you first come in, um, I went to endpoints here and vulnerability management, and, and they, have to, they, they basically have to set this up at first. Um, they ought, they prepare the environment for all that onboarding. Okay, so the dashboard is slowly coming online. What we're going to do is we're going to prepare for the integration by going down to settings. And uh, you can see we have a lot more settings now. We're going to go to endpoints. And we are going to go down to, let's see here, advanced features. And we're going to scroll down until we see... Microsoft Intune Connection. There we go. So what we can do, so as we're creating this, you know, profile. Okay, so if we go back to Endpoint Security, Defender for Endpoint. We can check the status of the connector. It is available, which is awesome. And it's now syncing and you can see these are all lit up for us. So we can turn on the Windows one, uh, connect Windows devices. Um, few other features you could do here so you could go through these and, and we'll get to some of these in some some future some future ones um we're going to head over to endpoint security endpoint detection and response and create a policy you can see this is not just for windows you can do linux and mac as well um you can also do devices that are co-managed or managed by config manager we're going to hit just the windows one and endpoint detection response we'll call this m365 defender for endpoint oh, point onboarding screen okay auto from so, so take a look at this first policy microsoft defender for endpoint client configuration package type so without the connector, you're going to see onboard, offboard, and then you have to upload a package of your own. You get that from the Defender console here. Um, but we have the connector, which is really nice. So we just hit auto from connector and we don't have to do anything. You could determine if you want your sample sharing. I'll turn, turn mine to all. Um, and the telemetry reporting has been deprecated. 
Um, and sample sharing is just, you know, basically how much data we're providing. But I'm going to hit next and I recommend uh, I would do all devices. Great. So with that policy applied and with the connector enabled, we literally can just um, come down here. And as they're onboarded, you're going to see this change uh, down here because it's letting us know as devices are coming online. Also in the Defender console, if we go to assets, we now have devices. So we have a place for them to land as well. What I want to do now, though, is I want to show you uh, an active tenant. So let's, uh, I want to show you a tenant that has all this set up, that has devices. So let me switch over to your Steve Capacity. Okay, so if I go to endpoint and security here, and this is the tenant we've been working with for other videos, Microsoft Defender for endpoint. So I have an enabled connector. You can see I have the same settings, but you can see here I have 32 devices onboarded. And those should correlate to that policy. So if I go to endpoint detection and response, click on that, you'll see that that policy has been deployed. Same thing we did already, the auto from connector. So you can see the same policy I showed you. So let's go ahead and let's check out what it looks like in the security console. So we could just open the Microsoft Defender Admin Center, like I showed you before, that's security.microsoft.com close all these quick tours and you can see if I go to devices now these are all my devices from Intune um and it's basically giving me you know there's a lot of data here there's if the sensor is inactive it's been misconfigured this is an active sensor so I can click on this they should all be active yeah, that's what happens when you have a lab with a ton of dead VMs in it and you just get general info on the device uh any logged on users, um, when scans have been co completed, if there's been any incidents or alerts on the device. Um, so you basically can just drill down to a device level here. Uh, software inventory, right? So you can see everything that's on the device and you can see if there's any threats or, or weaknesses detected. Um, really nice here. You can look at things like discovered vulnerabilities. Again, this is all in real time. Nothing there that's good. Any recommendations it's going to provide me? Uh, I think the recommendations is really cool because it's not only telling me like security related things, but just any policies it wants me to apply uh, per the application, per security controls at the OS level. Um, so this is a really nice place to kind of get a gauge of where you're at. Um, I could go to missing KBs. Right, I don't have anything that's good. Security policies. Okay, so it's letting me know what I have in place already and the the status of that. And uh, I can also look at timelines. So if I want to look at you know all the events on the device that are reporting up, I can see what's been going on. So it gets very granular. PowerShell interpret process was launched by Microsoft System Management Services. Um, and you can kind of keep drilling down on these so you can see you no know, profile execution this looks like something i was doing from intune and just a ton of detail in here um so uh really easy to get it set up and get devices on boarded that's kind of a quick overview of everything you can see um yeah and that took about you know 10 minutes or so you just gotta let it sit and give the devices time to onboard i would say give everything about a day um maybe longer if you have you know a large number of devices all right, so we're keeping that one brief, 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 hopefully in the 10 minute range. But I wanted to show you how easy it is to go in if you've never used Defender for Endpoint before, turn it on, get the devices onboarded, and then what they look like when they show up. You know, pretty straightforward. So uh, let me know your thoughts if you're using Defender, if you're not, if you're looking to test it. Um, you know, hit us up in the Discord channel or whatever. And, uh, you know, later.